So hi, um, here is uh, just another quick hack with these little USB on the go adapter. You can use both of them or two of them to connect them to each other and power something like the Vemos D1 Mini with your mobile phone and it's uh, very compact. I showed on the other camera. If you see this you can plug it into your computer, but if you connect the other one to it, you can use it on your mobile phone because you have here the other micro USB plug. For example, if I put it in here and connect it right, you can see the, the LED of the module is flickering. And now we only have to connect the, these two and the other thing is you have to remove one of these contacts in the micro USB plug because otherwise if you connect two devices that are capable, capable of running USB on the go they won't will recognize each other because they will both search for a client and so here I will show you how to connect them so here's how you build this little adapter you have two of these 25 pounds adapters and they should be put together like this for this you have to remove the metal shielding, for this you can open these little clips on this side, they are quite good pressed in. So like this, it's now bent over here and then I have to bend over the other side like this and in the back there is also one of these clips and then you should be able to pull up the plastic inside of it so now the knife is fully under it as you can see here and with a little bit of Hard pulling, I would say, you can bring it out. And then you got it in your hands. Only the internals and the metal shielding is here. You have now to look for the pin that is connected to the pin next to it. In this row here you can see they are connected and the other three are separated. You have to bend over the second one. I do it from the back because it's easier. Not the full outside one. The reason is so the adapter doesn't get recognized as a USB on the go adapter. Otherwise it won't will work right. I bend it a few times for and back and then it should be away like this. So that now are only four connectors available. Then you take the other USB on the go adapter and lay it on top of the first one that we are opened right now. So the, the connections are on top of each other. And these four pins have to solder against to each other. For that I have my soldering iron. So 
the first connection is good, but I will pull it a little back to the side so it looks nicer. Like this. And now I can solder the three other connections. You have to watch out that they fully connect to the metal clips under it then. But you should see it if, the, if it's right. Now the four connections are against each other. It don't look so nice because the plastic also do this solder a little bit. One connection is not right here. I will do it again with a little bit of press on it. Maybe then it will go better. No, it's still not right connected. I have now pushed it a little bit harder in. And I will look again. Now it looks really good. They are all, all four of them are connected. You can now put back on the metal shielding. Look for the right direction. And that it is fully inserted into it. Here they are missing two millimeters. So now it's full inserted. And then you can bend over the shielding over the full plastic. And press it against each other. Like this. Now they are full connected, but it don't look that nice. For that, I will use this shrink tube, cut it a little bit in length, like this, and put it over the complete adapters and heat it up with my soldering iron. Better use a lighter, but I don't have one. So like this. Here you can see it's a little bit too long on this side, so it maybe will don't get into the USB connector full. I will cut it a little bit in length. So that's it. You now have the ready to go connector and I will show it to you on my mobile phone. If you plug in the one side it will get recognized by your mobile phone. But if I, I will turn the screen dark, put it in the other side, the phone doesn't recognize it because the USB on the go function is disabled. So you have to put it in this side and then we can connect the VMOS D1 Mini and if I put it in it should light up as you can see here. So now it is connected and if I press the reset button on it you can see here the terminal loads up from the ESP8266 
8266 and is loading my script. If I pull it out, the connection is lost. Yeah, that's it. So, this is my little tutorial on how to build this small USB adapter to connect various things on your phone with a micro USB connector on it. And yeah, that's it. Please uh, watch my other stuff also if you're interested in more of these things. Have a nice day.